The call came in to the Norfolk Fire Department Saturday, February 5th over on Wedgefield Avenue, but it was these subcontractors for Virginia Natural Gas that showed up first. It was just before 1 p.m. when subcontractors from Southeast Connections working on gas line upgrades for Virginia Natural Gas saw smoke. These are pictures from Norfolk Fire and Rescue. First we thought it was like burning leaves and stuff, but then it got thicker, so we saw the black smoke coming out. The smoke was coming from this house on Wedgefield Avenue in Norfolk. That's when Henry Regalado spotted a woman on the front porch. She was right here on her for, uh, front porch, and uh, we told her if there was somebody else in there, and she said it was her, her mother-in-law. There was one other person in the house, an elderly woman in her 80s, screaming for help. John Kearse with Virginia Natural Gas tried to enter the house. We tried to go inside. Uh, it was a wall of smoke. Uh, we could feel the heat, but could not see her, could see nothing, couldn't even see the flames. The heat was too much for Kearse. Workers Amelia Maya and Ryan Nottingham's first attempt to get in the house failed. But it was the second time they tried when... Pushed open the door, we went inside a little bit again, and you could kind of faintly see her hands down there, so we grabbed our hands. We pulled her out, we pulled her out onto the doorstep, and Amelia grabbed her legs. We carried her out into the yard, and a couple of the guys took off their jackets, put them over her to keep her warm. With burn marks on the back of her arm and having difficulty breathing, they pulled the elderly woman to safety. After everything kind of calmed down, you sat there and you really realized, like, if I mean, we, yeah, it was lucky that we were here, otherwise this woman wouldn't be here. Following the investigation, Norfolk Fire and Rescue did determine the fire to be accidental. In Norfolk, Robert Rizzo, 10 on your side.